Have you been asked to find the area of an object such as this one and have no idea where to start? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco and I'm going to walk you through this step by step how to find the area. But first, I want to mention that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. Let's get to the video. You see an area question such as this one, and if you look at your formulas for area for different objects, you may see a square, a rectangle, a circle, things like this, but you might not see anything that's shaped like this and be concerned that, well, how am I going to find the area? Well, I'm going to show you how, and how we do it is we're going to break it up into smaller segments so we can figure out exactly what we're working with. So it's kind of a arch shaped object here, but if you look, you could break it up into some smaller rectangles. Let me show you. There's a couple different ways you could do it. I could go like this. Let's use this this way. And I'm just going to use a dotted line to show that this is not the actual line, but it's a way of breaking it up. And we'll do that same thing here. So now we have one, two, three different rectangles. I could have broken it up by putting the line this way and made one, two, and a big one this way. That's fine as well. So either of those ways would work, but this is the way I chose to do it. All right, now we've got three different rectangles and we can now start figuring out the area of them. All right, so, and then once we find the area of each one, we're gonna add them up to get the total area. So we'll start with this one on the left and we know that the formula for the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So we've got the width here of five and we have the length of eight. So if we put that into our calculator, we just do five times eight and that's gonna give us 40. So five times eight is equal to 40 and we have to have units. This is inches and this is inches. We can't just put this as inches because inches are linear. In other words, along the line. So this is five inches here. We are multiplying inches times inches and anything times itself becomes a square. So this is 40 inches squared. So we've figured out number one. I'm gonna skip over number two for a moment because we're missing some information. We don't have this length and we don't have this length it's not listed let's go ahead and do number three though if you see number three it's also five inches times eight inches so it's exactly the same and i'm going to stack it up here and that's also 40 inches squared if you're finding this information helpful go ahead and smash the like button it'll really help me out and help out the youtube algorithm to uh, get this out to more people now we have this last one in the middle. We have to figure out that area. Well, we don't know, for example, this distance from here to here. It is a rectangle, nor do we know this distance from here to here. So we have to kind of figure it out. Well, we know this entire distance from down here to the top is gonna to be the same as here. So this entire distance is eight inches. We know this bottom part here is three. So if this part is three and the whole thing is eight, how do we find it? Well, we subtract. We subtract three from eight. So that means this part here, the dotted line part is five inches. Then we need to figure out this part from here to here. We know the entire distance is 14 inches. We just need to find this part here, but it's not listed, nor is it here. Well, how do we figure that out? Well, we know that this part here is five, and we know this part here is five. So this up here from here to here is five. And since this is a rectangle, this side's gonna be the same as the bottom, and this part here is five. So if this is five, and this is five, and the whole thing, is 14, how do we find this distance here? 
Well, we take the 14 and we subtract this 5 and this 5, so it's 14 minus 5. So this part here is 4 inches. So the last part, this last rectangle here, is going to be 4 inches times 5 inches. So we do 4 times 5, and that's going to be 20. So this part is 20. So 4 by 5 is 20 inches. And again, it's squared. So we found this one is 40, this one is 20, and we found this one to be 40 as well. So all we need to do is add them up. So we have 40 and 40 is 80, 90, 100. We have 100 inches squared is the area of this oddly shaped item. Now you know how to find the area of this item. If you need to find out the area of other items, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to do some other things such as the area of a circle and some other shaped items and other math that might help you. So keep your grade alive and subscribe. Thank you.